Hi everyone, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about what the course structure you're going to be seeing is. So the course itself is divided up into nine units. Now those units actually each take approximately a week except for the first one which is kind of a long unit so it's probably going to take us about two weeks to get through it right um, and we're going to start with looking at what is agent-based modeling why should you use it we're kind of already in there from the intro videos then we're going to start with beginning with simple models and we're going to start playing around with a very simple model and creating your first models and looking at how they work right and from that we're going to take some more advanced models that already exist in the NetLogo models library and we're going to extend them and sort of show you how to take a model someone else has built and work with that. Then unit four, that's the big unit. There we're going to go all the way from the beginning of an idea to the creation of a model and to the analysis of that model, right? And in some ways unit four is kind of a a, um, a concise version of this entire course, right? Uh, not covering everything at the level of the detail that the other units do, but it is the core in many ways of this course. After that, now that we've gone through how to build these models, we're gonna take them apart. We're gonna look at the architecture and really break it down for you and kind of explore a little bit more as to what are the various components of it. Then we're gonna talk a little bit more about how to analyze those models. What should you look for? What kinds of answers should you be looking at? And what kinds of results should you be uh, playing around with? Unit 7 talks about some very important concepts to computational modeling and to the scientific method in general, which is verification, making sure that your model actually does what you think it does, validation, making sure that your model corresponds to the real world in a meaningful way, and replication, making sure that your model and other people's models can be replicated and the results can be repeated. Unit 8, we're going to take a step back. We're going to talk about where ABM has been applied, what the history of ABM is, uh, and look at it from that perspective. And then in Unit 9, we're going to talk a little bit about some advanced concepts in ABM, some things that people are playing around with now as they continue to explore. Of course, uh, you know, at this point, it's also useful to talk a little bit about who your instructors are and things like that. And so I, of course, Bill Rand. I'm your lead instructor. Um, by the way, most of my writings are under the name William Rand, so you'll find them that way. Uh, but feel free to call me Bill. Uh, and uh, this year, I'm, I'm proud to be... Um, Proud to be uh, partnering with uh, Chattika uh, Gunaratne, who will be the assistant instructor. I met Chattika uh, through a joint project we're working on, and he's a fantastic NetLogo coder, fantastic developer. I'm sure he'll be great to help out in, in this course and kind of really provide you uh, with the assistance and the uh, help you need as we go forward. Uh, to how to contact us. So you can email abm at complexityexplorer.org. I'll be checking that uh, that uh, email box and Chattica will be on a fairly regular basis. You can also tweet at us at intro at abm. I'm actually specifically at Bill Rand, uh, so you can get a hold of me that way. I'll also be hosting YouTube office hours, and this gives you a chance also to interact. Um, so I'm going to do it on a weekly basis. The times will be announced uh, via email, um, and links uh, will be posted uh, the you can follow to those uh, those office hours. You can either send your questions in for those office hours ahead of time by the email or by Twitter or whatever, or you can actually ask them live during the office hours. There is a kind of running uh, comments box on one side that you can kind of send in your comments. Uh, by the way, I'll also be sending you an email on a weekly basis. Uh, you should have already received one probably, and, and that will kind of also provide you with some additional details about the course. Uh, so with that, um, I'll and wrap up this little part about the structure of the course in the next uh, lecture we're going to be talking about the assignments that we're going to be covering in this course.